So let's talk about love. And I'm not talking about loving your dog or your kids because that's easy. My dog drives me nuts, but I still love her. Love is, uh, and by the way, this is, you know, if you're just looking for a spiritual, I'm not really here, none of this is real, my mind's not here, this isn't that kind of talk. I'm going to pretend that I'm a human living the experience because that's what I am. So, I'm in a relationship, well, I was in a relationship, I don't know if I still am, and what I want to talk about is how a lot of us, and hopefully somebody else out there gets what I'm saying in this, you know, we believe that we've we found this spiritual path, we believe that we've found this way that we're evolving ourselves, you know, and we're getting better, and, and I believe that, I believe that I am, you know, 10 times better than what I was a year ago and 10 times or 100 times better than what I was 5 years ago 1,000 times better than 10 years ago I won't even talk about 20 years ago but the problem is is that and I've said this before and people have said it throughout history is that you can't love somebody else until you love yourself I really can't think of anything that's more true than that and even though we all do this work and, and we're trying to, you know, make ourselves a better person or have a better experience or, um, you know, better to others, unless we do that, that work and unless we're, we're willing to, like, really go in and do that work of trying to find out, like, what's bothering us or why we don't like ourselves or why we don't love ourselves, relationships won't work. And... I'm coming to this now. It's funny because... So I was married for a long time. And I divorced about... Going on almost 15 years now. And... This isn't a closure video or anything like that. Um, It's more or less that... I've been through a... Good amount of relationships since then. And and I'm not out there pimping myself out or anything. I'm just saying I've been in some relationships. And they've been great people. They They were great relationships... But what I'm getting at is I drove them away. And I thought maybe that was all over. Now with, you know, my quote unquote awakening, I thought maybe, hey, well, you know, I I definitely have learned to love myself more. I have definitely learned what I do that I know angers others. I know not to do that anymore. But unfortunately... I'm realizing more and more lately with relationships that I'm still not there yet. And I think it's vital. It's vital that, you know, maybe some of us will never get to that point and maybe we just shouldn't be in relationships. And listen, I'm not saying break up with your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. I'm not saying do any of that if you haven't got to that. I mean, if you guys have a great relationship, keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to me. Everything I say is an opinion, as I always say. This is just uh, some old guy talking to you through an audio. But my thing is, is that this person that I was with as of recent is very, very, very special. Very awesome. Like everything I was looking for in a partner. Um, Enjoys the work that we put out on this video, on these videos. uh, Agrees with, you know, basically most of our views. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's good to have. You don't want something that, you know, agrees 100%. But without getting into all the details, I'd just say it's literally the best chance at a real relationship I've had in a long time. But last weekend, I was, there's no other way to say it, but I was a douchebag. I didn't, you know, do anything horribly wrong. I just kind of kept to myself. I was having a bad weekend or a bad week out of bad week and... Again, folks, I'm, I'm not a teacher. I'm, I'm not ascended or any of those other cool words. I'm just like you. I, I work every day. I, I go out. I pay bills. I help where I can, and, and that's it. So I have bad days just like the rest of you. Um, I understand suffering. Trust me. But I also have found ways to get around that suffering, and hopefully you will too. But there's still some suffering internally because if there was, I wouldn't have that. You know, even with that bad week that I had, at the end of the week, I put it all to the side. And I said, hey, listen, that's in the past. I fixed what I could and, and what I couldn't fix. I'm, I can't do anything about it, so I'm not going to go back. Live like the dog. Problem is, I thought that was a solution, but I brought that into the weekend. And not knowingly, I treated this other person 
as if, you know, I didn't treat them in a certain way. I just kind of pushed them to the side and kind of wasn't there, let's say. And they had to tell me that, but at the same time, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. What I'm getting at is, I think it's very important for us to thoroughly go through when we're on this path, when we're trying to better ourselves or empower ourselves or come to enlightenment or whatever you want to call it, billion names. But the thing is, I think a lot of us already think that we've gotten there and I can pretty much guarantee you you haven't. So, because I can guarantee that I haven't. And that's why I don't tell anybody that I'm a teacher or anything because I'm not and I haven't awoken completely. I don't think I ever will. That's just my opinion again. But the problem is, we get... It's funny because you, you watch these spiritual videos and you read the books and all that and everybody talks about ego and ego, ego, ego. And in the end, it's your ego telling you, oh yeah, wow, I've come to a really good conclusion. My life is great now and blah, blah. But you know it isn't. It's just your ego telling you that it is. You know what I'm talking about. You hear exactly what I'm saying to you right now. Yes, you. So what I'm saying is, we allow that to say, okay, well, we're fine. It must be the other person. And that's where it gets dangerous because, thankfully, I have been able to understand conviction. I have been able to understand, you know, that if I see something on another person I don't like or if the other person's bothering me, it is most likely something that I do myself and that's why I do dislike it. And that, that's been said in every spiritual book, Every book on psychology, everywhere. It's been said in the Bible, it's been said everywhere, that most people only hate or dislike something because they know that they themselves hate that they do it too. They don't believe me. Sit down for a quiet couple of minutes. Think about somebody that you don't like, that you're in a relationship with, or you're at, always at arguments with, and think about why you don't like them. And I bet you, if you're honest with yourself, you'll find out that you have the same quality. Disagree in the comments, but be sure to back it up. This is more or less just a ramble, like most real talks, but what I'm getting at is we have to be careful. Because like I said, this person is very special. This person is very, very beautiful. They have worked their way out of the suffering. And I don't think that they're 100% there yet either, but they've worked their way out of it, out of it enough that they're happy where they're at. And here I come along saying, oh yeah, I'm Mr. You know, no suffering and go with the flow and, you know, I'm all about the way and blah, blah, blah. And then I act like that on a weekend and I hurt somebody's feelings. And that's not fair to them. It's also not fair to myself. Because if I had just sat down before I got in this relationship and said, hey, are we sure about this? You know, if I didn't let the ego jump in and go, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, let's just do this. Now, I'm not saying this relationship's over. I pray that it's not over. But I also wanted to just say it. I wanted to get it out there. And nobody listens, nobody listens. But if one of you does and kind of gets where I'm coming from, please leave a comment because I'd love to talk to you about it. We have to learn to love ourselves. And I think what that sh- saying should be, it shouldn't be we have to learn to love ourselves before we love others. We should, that saying should be we have to love ourselves unconditionally before we can try to unconditionally love anybody else or even just love anybody else. I don't think it's possible for us to unconditionally love another human being, um, even your pet. I mean, we all love our pets, but they all do something that pisses us off. So let's be honest. And that's the thing. If you take, if, if there's any little pet peeve or anything like that, a pet peeve isn't just, oh, it's just a pet peeve that I have about her. No, that means that you have a condition against her or him, so you don't unconditionally love them. But I think it's important for us to sit down and realize that. Because I could sit here, if this was five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, I'd be like, oh, this is all their fault. It has nothing to do with me, blah, blah, fine. You know, ego complete ego and it's still there it's still saying oh well, this you know you're you're going too hard on yourself but i'm not i see it i see it clearly conviction i love conviction it's the best gift i was ever given by the universe because i've said it in other videos there's a difference between guilt and shame and conviction 
Conviction is recognizing that you may be in the wrong or you are in the wrong and figuring out a way that you can either solve it, make it better, or not do it again. If you can't go back and solve it, if you can't go back, if you've already apologized, move on. The, the wheel is in their court. The ball is in their court. You know, guilt and shame are a different thing. Guilt and shame would be like, oh man, I can't believe I messed this up. I keep messing it up. And oh, I'm always messing it up. And I'll never have a real relationship. Listen, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying just because what I'm going through, or what you might be going through, you will never have a chance. You could have a chance, but you have to understand what I'm getting at is that in order to have that chance, we have to give ourselves a chance. We don't do that. We watch all these videos, read all these books, read all the ancient texts and all that, and we think, oh yeah, that's the answer, and then you just think, oh, I'm awakened. You're not. You're not even close. You won't find awakening, nirvana, enlightenment, whatever all the cool, big name, clickbait words out there are, you won't find any of that until you actually go with it. There's not a single video on this channel that will help you solve anything until you go with it. Every teacher, every ascended master will tell you that same thing. Jesus, Buddha, all of them. I won't go through them all. You know their names. I haven't gone deep enough within. I thought I did, but I haven't. Actually, tell you the truth, I knew I haven't. Didn't. But that's why ego is dangerous. I never tell anybody you got to kill your ego. Because ego is actually not always bad. And I'm sure I'll catch some crap about that in the comments, but it's not. I mean, you need it to survive. Listen, that's my opinion Eckhart Tolle and nine other guys can tell you that you don't need it, and that's their opinion. That's all it is. If you've experienced yourself, if you've gotten rid of your, if you completely rid yourself of your ego and you're, you're doing good, good for you. It doesn't always work in everybody's case, though. What I'm getting at is, though, is that I know that it was my fault. And there's only two things I can do. I'm going to flip the coin real quick. There's only two things I can do. I can either walk away from that situation, ego, or I can apologize and try to make it right. But that's all I can do. That's the best I can do. I've mentioned it before. My favorite book. One of my favorite books out of all the books I've read. And I'm talking hundreds of books. Is The Four Agreements. Where he states in there that all you can really do is the best you can do. If you do any more than the best. Then you're just going to end up hurting either yourself or others. So only do your best. So my best is to apologize. Which I've done. The ball is now in their court. But at the same time, I can't blame them if they decide to take some time. I can't blame them if, if they dribble the ball for a little while because I hurt their feelings. Because I wasn't able to admit that I wasn't there yet. Or that even if I had just admitted, hey, I've had a really bad week. Maybe we should wait a couple of days. You know, I wasn't able to do that because I said, oh, no, I'm, I'm enlightened and I, I can do. See, that's the problem. That's why you always hear me kind of contradict things. And, and I understand a lot of you don't like that. I've probably lost plenty of viewers off it. But I will never tell you that I'm a teacher. I will never tell you that I'm so enlightened or anything like that. I, I, I don't, can't really stand when anybody else tells you that, you know. But that's the thing. Like, I'm still able. I'm just like all you guys. I still have problems. And that's why real talks. That's why I have real talks on here. Because these are problems that I face in my experience. I don't believe any of this is real. I don't believe that any of it is real. I don't really believe that I'm really here. I don't really believe that I'm talking to you. I don't really believe that anything I'm viewing is part of me. I'm, I'm not observing anything. I don't believe anything that I say or put on the videos, I, I agree with. But at the same time, I'm living through this experience. This is my experience. This is all I know. So that's why I do these real talks. To help others if they're willing to accept their experience. But what I'm getting at last time is, be sure you know about yourself because you may end up hurting others and I did that all my life and I was really hoping not to do it anymore but it turns out I've done it for a guy that tells every single person that comments on a video I love you even people that that diss me in the comments I tell them I love them because I do because I believe we're all one I believe in all that but for somebody that's that loving but yet so selfish not to really go within and find out if he was ready for a relationship and then to hurt somebody's feelings? That's not fair. That's not enlightened. That's not awakened. I hope some of you get what I'm saying. Again, this is just a rant. If anybody gets where I'm coming from, please put it down in the comments. That's what this is all about. I don't do this for, for views and money, folks. I do it so I can interact with others. So please start interacting. It's, it's YouTube. Nobody knows who you are. 
tell us what it is. Let's see if we can all work together on it. I love you all. Walk in light. Until next time, my friends, I ask all people everywhere to plant seeds of love, peace, joy, and oneness.